Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to makeup, fragrance, and beauty. And today I'm going to be ranking all of the products that I tried in the month of March. Yes, March, because it is currently April. Um, I know this video is a little bit late, sorry. I did not film last week because I was just recovering from a night out and the first day I was, like Saturday when I normally film, I was getting ready for my friend's engagement party. So yeah, I did not film, so it's a bit late. But anyways, I tried 15 total products in the month of March. I have rankings for you, fully fledged thoughts, all that fun stuff. I believe I've made content on all these products except for one. So if you are interested on hearing, or actually two. So if you're interested in hearing about my thoughts, please keep on watching. So one of the, two of these products are actually in a tie. So it, the ranking technically starts from 14 and goes down to one. So at number 14, we have this mascara from Iden Beauty, which is a beauty brand created by Addison Rae. I have had this in my mascara backups area for a long time because I got this actually um, when I purchased a mystery box from Sephora during their Sephora event that they put on this year virtually. So this is the Lash Snack Mascara. It's fine, it's nothing special. It's supposed to be a lengthening mascara. Does it do that? I don't think so. Mostly, I just think it makes your lashes black, kind of clumps them up a little bit. It flakes on me. I'm just not a fan. I'm wearing it today. It's not great. Um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of this, so it's ranked last, but I'll, I'll use this up. And number 13, I have this sample of Pippin Pie from Possets. It's a perfume. This one's okay. Um, on the paper, it smelled better to me than on my skin. Um, to me, it smelled almost a little bit too much like an apple pie candle, like one that you would smell when you walk into like Kirkland home. Um, it lasts six to eight hours on my skin, so the lasting power was good. I just felt like this was very much an artificial candle-like apple pie fragrance. So for that reason, not a fan. I will not be keeping this sample in my collection. At number 12, I have this sample of Infamous from Posey. I've tried a lot of fragrances from Posey and most of them I think are fine. One of them I absolutely love and I will be covering that in today's video. But this, I'm not super a, a super fan of this. Um, it gave me a little bit of a headache. It was way too powdery for my taste, not really gourmand at all. And from the notes, which are white cake, marshmallow cream, cream vanilla frosting, you would think this would be a super gourmand scent. Not so. Um, it lasted all day, but that small little cloying headache also lasted all day. So for that reason, I'm not really a fan of this. I wanted it to be like a super amazing, sweet, marshmallow, vanilla kind of cake vibe. It did not give me that. It was just too musky, powdery for me. So for that reason, it's ranked where it is. At number 11, I have Hoyden from Posey. I wanted to love this one because I've been looking for a really good like waffle smelling fragrance. Um, and I tried Stereoplasm Enjoy Your Waffles, and that one was fine. It's just, it was too much orange juice. And this one also had a note of orange juice in it. So I was a little bit worried it's gonna be too much orange juice. On the paper, the orange juice provides that little bit of a citrus kick, but not too much. On my skin, all I smelled was orange juice, um, which was the same problem I had with the Stereoplasm fragrance. So for that reason, I'm also gonna be passing this sample along. I thought it was nice on the paper. I wish it smelled like that waffle maple syrup goodness on my skin, but sadly it does not. At number 10, another Posey fragrance. This one's called French Kiss. And this one, just too much blueberry. And the blueberry was a little bit artificial for me. Um, it lasted six hours, um, it, so it was fine. But yeah, I, again, I expected more marshmallow vanilla and not so much blueberry, but it was just way too much blueberry. And actually my boyfriend said it smelled like a blue raspberry like slushy. And personally, I don't wanna smell like that. And I kind of agree with him. So for that reason, not a fan of this one either. At number nine, we have Cafe from The Strange South. This one has notes of coffee, beignets, pralines. Again, I wanted this to be not just like straight up coffee bean kind of fragrance, but like a coffee drink with like a little bit of milk, sugar the beignets and the pralines, but all I got from here on my skin was a coffee bean scent. That's not what I'm looking for. I wanted more of that sweetness, that dessert kind of vibe. It was just way too much coffee for me, so I was not a fan of this one. Again, it smelled better on the paper than it did on my skin. I don't know why. At number eight from Possets, we have a reason. So this has a lot of vanilla, toffee, butter, and cream in it. It was very buttery, a tiny bit salty, 
it was good. Like we're getting into the things that I liked, but just like were not 100% for me. So I liked this one. It was just so buttery that I could see it becoming way overwhelming on me um, and kind of just getting sick of it really quickly. So for that reason, it's not for me, but I do think it's a good scent. At number seven, we have Madar from Posey. This is supposed to be like a rice pudding kind of fragrance. I wanted the rice pudding vibes to last so much longer than they did, but it did not. The rice pudding note in here does not last very long. It disappears really quickly. The dry down to me is sweet orange blossom, and that's okay, but it's not what I'm looking for. I wanted that spicy, sweet, sugary, pistachio, rice pudding to last throughout the life of the fragrance. But all I got in the end was orange blossom. For, so for that reason, again, not exactly what I was looking for, but I love the opening of this. I thought it was really lovely. So this is the tie. And I, they're tied because I really like them, but I will not buy full sizes for the same reason. And that is King Cake from The Strange South and Gingerbread Whorehouse from Possets. These fragrances, like this smells like King Cake. This smells like gingerbread to me. They're lovely. The problem is they do not last at all on my skin. My skin eats these up like crazy. They maybe last like two, three hours max and then they're gone. They're just completely gone. No remnants of anything. So if these lasted longer, I would buy full sizes, but because they don't, they're just not for me. And I'm really sad about it because I really love these but they just don't last on my skin. Maybe they will on yours. So if you do like the idea of these fragrances, give them a try, give the, the sample a try. But because my skin just eats these up, I cannot recommend these. That's for, that, that, that's why. At number five, we have God is a Woman from Ariana Grande. I like this one. It doesn't project or last a while, but it's a nice pear, relaxing, sweet kind of scent. In a way, it almost reminds me a little bit of La Belle from Jean-Paul Gaultier because of that like pear sweet vanilla kind of vibe. But this one goes in a little bit of a different direction. So I'm happy I have a decant of it. Is this full bottle worthy to me? Probably not. We'll see how much I wear this decant from Royalty Sense, which I have a subscription, not sponsored. I buy them myself. Um, but yeah, I do like this one. I do enjoy it. I will keep wearing it. At number four, I have Whipped Almond from Mix Bar. You can buy these at Target. And this one smells really nice. It is a just nice, very clean almond kind of fragrance. The problem with this one, it doesn't last very long. So the other mix bar fragrance that I um, like and bought, uh, that's why it's ranked above this one. But I do really like this one. I do think this is definitely full bottle worthy if you like a clean almond kind of fragrance because it's not super gourmand or cloyingly sweet. I could see this being worn all throughout all of the seasons. Um, yeah, I think this is really nice. It's just, it doesn't last. So you have to really like spray heavily, spray on your clothes or, or re-up your, your perfume throughout the day. Speaking of the other perfume from Mix Bar, I have Coconut Palm from Mix Bar. I really like this one. This one lasts longer uh, than Whipped Almond does. This is just a sweet, like almost a little bit sunscreeny kind of coconut in the opening. The dry down to me is very much a summer friendly vanilla. I absolutely love that. This lasting power is pretty good. Um, I would say it turns into a skin scent around five, six hours, but it doesn't completely disappear. So I think that's really good. Again, this is super cheap. Um, these mix bar fragrances, I think are like 20 bucks a pop. So for that price, you can't really go wrong with either of them, but I do find coconut palm, at least on my skin to last a little bit longer. All right, I know that was a ton of fragrances and number one is also a fragrance, but number two is actually a makeup product and this is the Naughty Nudes palette from Huda Beauty. I love this. I At first I tried the Mercury Retrograde palette from Huda because it was 50% off at Sephora and you also got an additional 20% off during the winter uh, like holiday savings event. So I got it for a super good deal, more than half of the price was slashed off. I love those formulas so much. The mattes are amazing. The metallics are amazing. Then I got the, um, the newest palette, which is the Rose Quartz palette. Also just super love that one. So I was like, okay, I need to get the one in the middle that came out between those two, which is the Naughty Nudes. I wouldn't have gotten this one if I didn't love the formula because this color story isn't anything like super unique or interesting to be honest. But again, the, the quality is just amazing. I've used this palette quite a few times over the past month. I really, really enjoy it. I got this on Huda Beauty's website because she was offering 25% off off of her whole website, which was a better deal than the Sephora sale. So I bought it then. 
Um, yeah, I really like it. I'm really happy with it. If you all want to see a video on this or any other of my Huda palettes, let me know. I just haven't done a video with them. But overall, I think these big Huda palettes, starting from the Mercury Retrograde and going to the Rose Quartz, is a much better formula than her small palettes. Like, I have some of her small palettes. They're fine. But these are so much better, I will never buy another Huda small palette again. So these are phenomenal. Naughty Nudes, amazing, amazing, amazing formula. The only shade I don't like is this weird, like, cream shade. I haven't even used this one. It's called Slippery. When this came out, people said it looked like some sort of, like, pimple or something. But this shade is like a cream, like, clear base with, like, pigment in it. It just looks like barely nothing. It looks like wet. But anyways, this crease is like nuts on my lids. So I cannot wear that on my lids and it doesn't really do anything for me. So I don't like that shade, but every other shade I think is wonderful. And last but not least, the fragrance I got in a full size, my new indie fragrance favorite, my love. <laughs> and this is from Posey and this is Versailles. I basically wear this rollerball every excuse I can get. This is a five mil. This is the most wonderful orangey vanilla cake just citrus vanilla sweetness. Mm, it's so, so, so good. I absolutely adore, adore this fragrance. And because it's a small uh, roller ball, you can pop this in your purse, very travel friendly. You can bring this on vacation, very travel friendly. So this lasts all day. There's something very fluffy and a little bit powdery um, about it. And you would think by looking at these notes, oh, this is gonna be like Lyra. No, this is not like Lyra to me. Lyra is like a, um, lemon pound cake from like Starbucks. This to me is like a vanilla coconut cake with a hint of citrus in the frosting, a hint of orange in the frosting. It's just so, so, so lovely. I know there's no coconut listed in it, but I get something coconut to it. And yeah, I had to get a full size of this. Once I run out of this, which I'm sure I will because I've worn this a lot, I will get another one. I need this fragrance in my life all of the time. I absolutely adore it, it's amazing. And that is it for my March rankings. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Extremely fragrance heavy, only two makeup products, the mascara and the palette. But you know what? I've been loving to try fragrances, but in the month of April, I am trying a lot more makeup. Um, actually, the video I filmed today, one of the videos I filmed today was trying on a bunch of makeup from my Sephora sale haul. So yeah, there's a lot of makeup that's gonna be happening in April. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like this video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It also helps me know what kinds of content that you like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. I post two to three videos per week. And if you have anything to comment down below, any thoughts on any of these products, if you wanna know more information about my thoughts on these, if you have any recommendations for things you wanna see me try, any video suggestions, let me know. I wanna hear them and I may film them. So yeah, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me and I will see you all next time. Bye.